I take AP Music Theory online, and when we're learning about chords or different motions of music, we're not just learning about it, we're applying it to music and using things like finale and note flight and muse score to write our composition so we can actually understand what we're doing and get a deeper understanding. I've written music, so when we did chords, I wrote this composition and then I labeled out my chords and so like I knew if it was a first or a fifth or something like that. In my honors bands, like at Lawrence University or the Fox Valley Orchestra, I've been able to apply what I've been learning um, to what I've been playing so I understand why things work and how. For band, we do a Christmas project where we put together our own little groups and then go perform out in the community and I actually wrote and arranged music for my group. We have uh, some independent uh, music theory students right now and as they've been learning theory, we've been starting with things that we don't need the computer with, uh, such as dictation and oral skills. And then what happens is the students get to the point where they need to start doing their own composition. And when they have the computer and, and using like finale program, they can actually put all of their musical ideas on the computer and then the computer will play it back for them so they don't have to have piano skills or guitar skills in order to be able to write a composition. They're able to use the computer to listen to what they've, they've written and then they can tweak it and, and make some uh, different ideas. And what's really nice is they always start very, very basic and then it starts getting more and more developed. You can hear more chord changes and you can hear more uh, intricate chord styles. And then what's really cool is when they start putting these ideas uh, within a, an, a, an entire composition because then they start thinking about, well, what do I want to do to have the intro change a little bit? What do I want to do in order to have the ending? How do I want this thing to develop? And it really gets them outside of just the notes and the rhythms, but actually thinking about the full composition. And I always feel that every single person out there, whether they're in music or not, has a song within them. And it's always that first one that's hard to, to get out because it, it's so close to you and the, the meaning is so close to you. But, but just getting some ideas down on paper and, and getting some ideas uh, in the computer so that you can actually see what it's going to look like and, and hear what it's going to sound like uh, gets them to start expressing their, their inner feelings. And once they get that first one down, it's almost like the floodwaters open and they can start being so creative after that. I think it's like a really great opportunity because I've been able to go farther in what I've been doing and I have understand music theory a lot more and I've been able to like take my playing to a whole new level.